Thanks, Jill. Well, overnight tonight, we've got another bitter cold night on the way. Luckily, the winds won't be quite as high as they were over the weekend, though, so the wind chills won't be quite as low, but it's still cold enough today. Look at these highs for Martin Luther King Day. Temperatures for most have only topped off in the teens, if not the low 20s. It has been so cold today, and of course, you add the wind in there and it feels colder than that. Right now, most of us are still sitting in the teens and 20s. Not much change. Over the past few hours, we woke up to a dusting of snow in some areas, if not an inch or two at some of those higher spots. Still could have a few slick spots on the roads from those trace amounts in some areas. But overall, we're not expecting much more in terms of precipitation tonight. A lot of clouds, there'll still be some flurries flying around, but we're not expecting anything major in terms of snow. And again, the wind does continue to calm down overnight and especially as we hit in a Tuesday. You're not seeing those gusts that we had at times over the weekend anymore, which is some good news. That'll make it feel a little bit more comfortable and some good sunshine is going to be with us the next few days. If you look at our current wind chills, you've still got some places where that wind is making a big difference. Look at Burke's Garden. It still feels like it's one degree. There still could be some places right around or just below zero tonight as far as the wind chills go. But overall, we don't have any wind chill advisories out like we did last night or early this morning. The wind is just going to be a bit weaker. Now, if we're looking at our headlines the rest of the week, we're going to stay bitter cold through tomorrow through tomorrow night, but eventually we do start to warm up mid to late week. We're talking 40s for highs, not quite as bitter cold, but we do cool down again a bit into the weekend and we could actually have some wintry precipitation move in. It looks like most of the week's looking quiet, but by Friday night, Saturday, some rain and snow at the least could be around again tonight. We're not expecting too much more satellite and radar showing some clouds here and there and especially across our western slopes. Still some snow trying to develop with this northwesterly flow. Not going to rule out a few more flurries, if not a trace across some of those western slopes overnight tonight where we've got just enough moisture, but nothing too significant. Overall temperatures will just be cold back in the teens again, if not the low 20s and tomorrow should be warmer than today, but still not warm. By any means, most of us will be just around 30 degrees or so, but calmer winds, more sunshine. You'll be surprised of how that makes a big difference at this time of year. Again, high pressure is going to be in control for a while. Our next weather maker not looking to hit until Friday night, which mainly looks to be rain at first. And then into Saturday, we could see that rain start to mix with or change over to snow. And maybe a few snow showers persist into Sunday too. But overall, it's not looking like a big blizzard right now. But winter is definitely back and we're going to keep an eye on things to the end of the week. Again tonight, not a whole lot going on. Some flakes could be possible. Otherwise, just a few clouds and cold. Most of us in the teens tomorrow, upper 20s, low 30s, still nippy, but with more sun, with calmer winds and then 40s and low 50s the rest of the week. Not all that uncomfortable for this time of year, but could get messy into the weekend.